About three years ago, I made a video called How to Fix a Laptop That Won't Turn On. During that time, probably every week since then, that video gets six to 8,000 views. It's probably got around 3 million views. If you go look at the thumbs up versus the thumbs down, you'll see there's a good ratio. And since the time that video was released, I probably get 50 requests from people every week requesting I show the same trick with a tablet. So today we're going to do it with three different tablets. We're gonna do it with the Kindle Fire, Apple iPad, and Samsung tablets. Rather than have you watch me troubleshoot three different tablets, down in the description below I will annotate where your particular tablet is. So if you're just here to see troubleshooting for the Samsung tablet, for instance, if you go to the description, you'll see where to start the video. Before you do that, just a couple quick things, please. If you're wondering how I know how to do any of this, it's what I do for a living when I'm not making YouTube videos. I work overnight for a large telecommunications company and I basically get paid to do troubleshooting on hardware and software on computers. So since this is what I get paid to do for a living, you can say I'm a professional. Two things before we get started. This will not erase any data on any of these devices. This is not a full reset or full restore. This is just a way to bring the unit back if it's frozen or won't power on. So that's number one, you won't lose any data. Number two, this is not magic, it's not 100%. You can check out the laptop video here. You can see the immense amount of likes versus dislikes. In that video I outlined like I'm going to outline now. There is nothing that you can do by pressing buttons that's going to repair a broken part like a digitizer inside of a tablet. What I'm going to show you is something that will work about 60 to 70 percent of the time and save you money on repairs and or purchasing a new tablet. But if you've dropped it, it's been fried by electricity, something like that, this is not magic. It won't fix broken parts on the inside of the unit. So going into this, please try to do the steps as I say, and if they don't work, try again. For whatever reason, people get really impatient when they're asked to do something for 15 to 30 seconds that could save them a lot of money. But if you try this, I promise you a large percentage of you will have success. Now, we're going to go troubleshoot the very first tablet. Thank you for watching. And if this works for you, please don't forget to give me a like or a subscription. I'll take the subs. We can use them. What I'm about to show you now is for an iPad. It also works on pretty much any Apple product, iPhones, all versions of iPad. It's pretty simple. Once again, my iPad is not frozen, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you the steps anyway. But it will work in case the unit will not turn on or if it's frozen. Here we go. What you're going to want to do is locate the home button, the button down on the center, and then find your sleep button up top. You're going to press and hold both of these buttons down for about 20 seconds. Uh, it's pretty simple to know how long because eventually the screen will go black and the Apple logo will appear, at which point you let go of the buttons. That's how easy it is to do this reset. Next, this is a Kindle Fire. If you look real close, you can see me in the reflection. Uh, it is currently turned off. It is not frozen or non-powered, but the troubleshooting we're going to do will work in both cases. If for any reason this unit won't turn on or it's frozen, the Kindle Fire is the simplest of troubleshooting. And it works for all models of the Kindle. Simply locate the power button wherever it may be and then press and hold the power button down for 20 seconds. Now in the interest of time, I'm not going to show the entire 20 seconds. We're going to jump ahead a few seconds. Now once you've held it down for the full 20 seconds, one of two things may happen. It may power all the way on, or it may not power on at all. It's okay if either thing happens. If it powers on and it's not frozen, great. If it doesn't power on, at that point, simply press the power button one time to bring it on normally. Simple as that. Press and hold the power button for 20 seconds. Now if you try this the first time and it doesn't work, Try it again after charging the Kindle for about an hour. Plug it into the AC adapter and let it sit on the wall for about an hour and then try this again. Now if it doesn't work after the first time and then trying again after a charging, it may not work. It may be a problem with something inside the unit. But this is a very simple fix for a frozen Kindle Fire and or a unit that will not turn on. Last but not least, the Samsung tablet. Now sadly, I don't have a Samsung tablet with me today but this one is also super easy. If the Samsung tablet will not turn on or is frozen, there's two ways to go about this. The method I recommend first, 
press and hold the power button at the same time you're holding the volume button on the tablet down hold that down for 15 seconds if the tablets frozen it will shut it off and then you try turning it on normally now if this method doesn't work you're gonna try almost the exact same thing for the second round you're gonna press and hold the power button down and the volume up button in Samsung's official troubleshooting materials that they provide to people their method is power volume down so I always go that way first but honestly I have had just as much luck with going volume up so try both of those hopefully one or the other will work for you and you'll be back to using your Samsung tablet in no time that's it I tried to keep each one of these as short and simple as I could if you have any questions for me put them in the comments below I'll do my best to answer every one of them if there's a tablet out there I missed or something else you would like some troubleshooting tips on please put that in the comments below as well if I helped you in any way please give this video a like or better yet give this channel a sub thanks for watching guys take care